temple is gorgeous. Even the paper is extra fancy. Wow, so who's it from? Count Malt Karma. He sounds like royalty. Count Malt of the Celeste Clan? That's a surprise. Says he's at Vapor Island. Let's go meet him, Ash. Episode 5, Scarlet the Brave. Well, I guess let's go see this dude. Uh, Vapor Island, right? Yes. Why back to Vapor Island, though? So, you're Maruna. Yes, pleased to meet you, Mr. Count. I've heard about you being a skilled chroma. I wasn't really expecting such a young child. Understand, sir. I may be young, but I take my work seriously. Hmm. Well, that's a good thing. This guy's animations are fantastic. He pulled his mustache and he went sprawling. <laughs> Let me ask you, have you ever heard of Scarlet the Brave? Yes, though I haven't really heard a lot. Yes, it was probably before your time. It has been 30 years. Many times in the past, Sulphur, Lord of Terror, has emerged to torment the world. During the Great Purge 30 years ago, Scarlet the Brave appeared to stop his rampage. Under Scarlet's watch, Ivoire maintained peace and order. Then the Brave disappeared. I've been searching ever since, not knowing if Scarlet is even alive or dead. However, news came in from Forestia the other day. It seems that somebody matching Scarlet's description is there on that island. Forestia? I need you to find out if the rumor's true or not. All right, well, that's easy enough to Forestia. Morona and Ash traveled to Forestia, hoping to find information which would confirm Count Malt's speculation. A birthmark? Yes. Scarlet has a birthmark shaped like a flame. The Brave's power uses the burning of one's own soul to unlock hidden abilities. Those few who possess this power are born with flames marked on their body. Apparently, someone on the island of Forestia happens to have a similar birthmark. Flame-shaped birthmark? Oh! You must be talking about Mylan. Mylan? Yep, yep. He lives on the other side of the island. Never talks to anybody. Weird guy. Famous, but nobody's really met him. They don't even know what he looks like. He sounds like a good person. I bet he's tall, strong, and good looking. Where 
Where'd that come from? Scarlet is a girl's name. He's probably some short, skinny wuss. He's a brave, so he'd have to be noble and tough. He's probably stronger than you, Ash. Huh. Well, why don't you go ask Count Malt? He could probably tell you all about Scarlet. That's not what I meant, Ash. What are you so angry about? I'm not angry. We should quiet down anyway. This area is full of monsters. The soundtrack for this game is so good. So good. Super protection. Oh, it's another farming map. Oh, I love these. Okay, looks like this is this map predominantly focuses on casters as usual. Well, I guess trees can have people like Ash. It's only a 10% damage reduction, which isn't terrible. Grand Slam Man in there. Do we have any other trees nearby? The answer is... Uh, maybe. Alright, let's go forward. Because, yeah, if I can confine Vi to this one out back... Nope, can't. Alright. What about this bush here? 20% uh, attack down. That's pretty rough business. Well, we'll do it. Just to get people on the field. Uh, let's get Bucket down. Hate that. Alright, whatever. And we want to do gross water? Prop? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Also, these guys are only level 7. Not bad. Makes my job a, a lot easier. Okay, I don't know if Ash is going to be able to hit somebody from this. Eh, yeah, he totally can. We've always got killer spin. Assuming that we actually bother to move into position for it. There we go! Yeah, so this is this is actually uh, a really good grinding map if I you know if I can get here and survive it. Gotta leave that one in the center alone. Luckily, there's no counter counterattacks in this game, which is nice. Truth Truth Lasher, I really need to take away her spirit and switch it for something else. Might actually have her switch it with the battle axe. Come to think of it. All right, let's move to the center here. Actually, you know what? Marona's our only healer. Let's actually have her heal. Better than losing units, stupidly. Okay, now we do have Mega Ice. Is that big enough? Yeah! I don't even know if these guys are going to take damage, but they're two victims! That's all I care about! Man, I really did not mess with magic at all the first time around. Also, at this point in the game, the first time I, I played this game, uh, I actually thought that that uh, Ash was like secretly just Scarlet or something like that. And that's why he was like being cranky. But, no. For those of you who think that Ash is somehow related to Scarlet the Brave, I don't think he is, unless they reveal something else about him later. Uh, he seems very much just regular old Ash, non catch him. Uh, but that would have been. That would have actually been kind of dark in a way. You know, the. The, uh. The hero that everybody's looking for is a ghost following some little girl around. But then again, he also fought Sulphur, so there's there's no fought and won against Sulphur, mind you. So there's there's no way. Cause Ash very much did not. Looks like we get to use Mega Ice repeatedly tonight. Mmm, goody. I like the move. It's very powerful. I like Potato. Yeah, I I never really like recognized this, but the caster characters are really strong in this game. I just never got around to it because, you know, I was just such a melee focused dude. Hey. Yeah. He's a killing blow. Good for him. Yeah, so we, we're probably going to want to switch around skills a little bit. Oh wait, no. Vi, Vi is skilled with multiple types of weapons. It's, um, hmm. Let's go back to town for a second. Hey, we can make saber kitties. Oh, I wanted to check something, actually. Damn, I can't make a putty smith. I killed a putty smith earlier and it was adorable, but no dice. Okay. God, our island is just littered in swords. Okay, so I wanted to check something. Let's go to the merchant and buy it, probably. Let's see. So knives give a speed bonus. What else does? Does any anything else give a speed bonus? The answer is no. Okay, so we can get 
probably this one. That gives me a little bit of leeway here, because, yeah, here's the thing about Bucket. His speed... sucks. Really bad, I don't even remember. Which which one does he currently have? There you go. There... Okay, so he has the Harried Spear, which isn't terrible. Uh, not bad. But at the same time, it doesn't give, uh, it doesn't give any speed, and his speed is 31. That's really bad. Let's give him the Trusted Stone Knife instead. Uh, he's not very good with, like, Fire Slash, for example. But, uh, he can do Angle Slash and Berserker and stuff. And that'll make it so he actually gets more than one action per turn. Which is infinitely preferable, given the current situation. Okay, uh, let's just continue on. Let's continue on, and it looks like there's no specific enemies here. Okay, so what's up? So this phonograph is giving them... A bonus, otherwise it's just... This is kind of creepy, honestly. I don't really like it. Well... Oh well. I'm gonna put Ash there. I'm gonna put Grand Slam Man there. I'm gonna put Potato there. Let's summon Yuki, we could probably use a hand in healing. Do we have any el anything else nearby? No, we don't. Okay. Can we attack with Antique? No. He might be able to do a killer spin on one of these guys. Nope. Not unless we get really lucky with our positioning. They're just shy. Ground? I mean, we could do a Grand Breaker. Very expensive. Did kill them both, though. Okay, that's good. So let's move her this way. This way we can summon some more people. Ah, uh, yeah, they're not close enough for me to do more than just an antique. And again, the antique did manage to kill them. Okay, so let's summon... Let's summon Vi. Let's summon Bucket. Let's, let's summon... Who else do we want from this? Probably Who, just so Who can get some experience. Okay. I think we're good to go from here. Messing with the in the turn system. Come on. Oh, they're too far away. Nuts. Let's figure out who is weak to ice. The answer is all of them. Well, let's go for the weakest. Yeah, he's dead. He's super dead. All right. Let's just sword dance him to death. Yeah, it's it's best to use. Uh, since all these levels are particularly short, it's actually best to overuse them. Uh, cause the more you do, the more experience you get, and the more experience you get, well... Oh, what's this thing? Sparkly Rockweed. Interesting. Well, kind of meaningless for me. I need to remember to give this character a vase. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten another vase since. Uh, cause yeah, she'd actually probably be pretty top with one. Okay. But yeah, so overusing special moves on just regular levels is great, because you get more experience with them, and generally you're not going to run out of SP uh, before you run out of moves. Also, these guys are weirdly docile. I don't really like it. It's kind of creepy. Let's scoot as far as we can. Might as well take care of the far cats just in case uh, my other guys can't reach it. Are they all just litter... They're all just sitting around for some mysterious, creepy reason. I really do not like it. God, how weak you were. God, you're garbage. Ugh. I'm getting the very distinct feeling that, uh... Hybrid classes are not... Not desirable. Pretty much ever. Okay, this is seriously kind of weirding me out. The fact that they're not even reacting to the fact that I am slaughtering them. Well... I guess what can you do with the Drunken Sailor? Rely on the morning. The answer is... Uh, Berserker? Yeah? yeah like, what's his attack power? Yeah, it's got a whole... He's got a whole 60 on the other guy. Wonder why. Wonder what the dealio is. I don't know. I guess we could... Uh, 
I don't know. Okay. Just had a moment of, like, extreme fatigue. Unfortunately, I've been... My sleep schedule's all over the place. Well, with the holidays. So it's just one of those where I just feel tired, like, super tired. And then I just think to myself, Man, what the hell was I saying? And for the life of me, could not tell you. Not in any way, shape, or form. I'm just gonna mega ice a bush. What else am I gonna do? Nothing. So we might as well keep training that move until she runs out of SP. And he is dead. But, this does give me an opportunity... A not opportunity. Okay. I was gonna say, it gives me an opportunity to use dirty water. The answer is, no. Or is it gross water? Honestly, both are kind of disgusting. Well, either way. This isn't a good level for grinding, so I'm not going to bother with it for leveling. And I might just give up on who, because he's kind of useless. But yeah, it does seem like giving uh, Bucket the dagger was a really good move. Props to me. Alright. We should probably go heal, though. Just because... I don't know what I'm going to do with Bucket. Fuse him or something. Let's keep going. World map. This is a very fast chapter. There's probably four missions in it, and that's kind of the dealio. There's no there's no story, and that's So I won't tell his current defense. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we need Ash. Let's do it. Apparently defense protects you against her moves. Why don't we try... Speed. We'll try summoning Potato. I don't think that's going to go well. There's also some kind of horror beast back here. Oh yeah, there we are. Reese, Deluxe Behemoth. That's a cool critter. I wonder if I get access to it. The answer is probably not. But yeah, this this thing would be... This area would be great leveling if, uh, if defense worked the way I thought it did. It doesn't, and it confuses me. Uh, let's just go with Angle Slash. I don't want to knock it away from me any further. Okay. But yeah, I don't... I don't... I actually don't know what classes you get access to in this game. Like, there's a very real possibility that... Every monster can be recruited technically as a phantom. But I really don't know. I do feel like we should somehow sneak to the back and try and kick the shit out of it, just because. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's do it. Let's go. Damn it. Alright, whatever. We got our bruisers out anyway. Oh, this thing heals automatically, too. I don't know, man. This might actually be a little bit of an issue. We'll see. Okay, so these guys are getting kind of annoying. Well, I'll have Potato and Morona. I think work them. And if the other guys can't do it, then, well, we know exactly what happened. What we can do. And this way I could save some of my compides. Really like Vi and stuff. Man, I am yawny. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with turn-based tactical games, but boy. <clears throat> By the end of them, do I just get snoozy? First and foremost, let's murder this guy. That was significantly less murder than I wanted. I mean, it was... Very successful, vast majority murder, but it was still surprisingly uh, lackluster. Okay. I don't want to end. Oh, hey. That's another heal. Let's stick them next to each other. She can heal herself just a little bit, and that seems like a good idea. 
Oh, right, I was gonna go confine things. Eh, whatever. Okay, can we... Not conventionally, but if I'm lucky, I might be able to uh, hit it with a Gale Slash. There we go, let's see if we can do damage to this bad boy. No. Alright! Let's, uh... That was gonna be bad. Goodbye. I guess we just leave them alone. Leave that critter alone until I can come back. I wonder... Uh, you probably can unlock the... You can probably unlock the uh, class by beating it here. Could be wrong, though. I, I feel like there's gotta be ha some kind of reward for having that critter subjugated. But, well... Dunno. I really wish they'd stop roundhousing her. Roundhouse is just the most obnoxious. Alright, uh, so first and foremost, let's start confining people. So I want to get Vi. I want to get... Two. I want to get Bucket. Um, I think that's it. Oh. Zero characters remaining. Well, that's easy enough. So let's go up here. Let's just keep healing Potato. Potato probably only has one round left after this one, but... This does save on hospital bills, I think. I don't know what's cheaper. Come to think of it. Unfortunately, who is probably going to die? Okay, so let's... Check this thing. Status. I'm not going to be able to kill that, no matter how hard I try. Not right now. Maybe, maybe we'd be able to dent it if Ash uh, was on his final turn and that kind of thing. But normally, phew, hell no. Not even close. Okay. So we've got all these cats. We've got a stack of cats. So you know what? Let's Gale Slash him. Not a good day for cats. Oh, that other guy is still alive. My healer, on the other hand, is taking a pounding. And seems to be missing her bush. Well, that's an unfortunate consequence. Luckily, can't heal. Solves problems. So let's see. We've got a lot of these basic enemies over here. Gotta figure out which one of these goes soonish. Soonish. Soonest. There we go. Did not kill him. Right, probably should have checked resistances. Still pretty impressive damage, all things considered, but still. Ow. Okay. And... You know what? Let's heal him. I mean, it pretty much works in Morona's fa favor one way or another. Man, I try and keep him alive just long enough for him to get a kill. This is pretty much a no-win situation, honestly. Okay, so yeah, she's B with both both uh, lunge and burst, so we might as well try this one. Yeah, let's damage. Surprises no one. Ah. At least he can get it killed. And he's just so tough. So we're, we're doing pretty well here. I mean, sure, we're fighting a bunch of things that are several levels lower than me, which kind of sucks, but... And whatever. I got this or something. Okay. You're injured. Might even be his last turn. Nope. Next turn is his last turn, probably. Uh, do we want to do... Let's try Fire Prison. do fire prison on one of these guys. I haven't seen this one before, so I kind of want to know what it looks like. Ah, stick with the pot. Kaboosh. That was actually kind of lackluster. Probably should have checked resistances first. Oh well. Okay. So we might as well just heal... Heal him. I think we're good. 
Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of these little cat critters, which is kind of obnoxious. Luckily, they're all comically weak, but it is inconvenient nonetheless. Is that tree confused? Is that what I'm seeing here? I think I think that is what I am in fact seeing. Can we finally can we finally gross water? Man, can never gross water somebody. Fine, we'll just do a gross water. That was... I'm speechless, actually. That was particularly just shitty damage. Alright, whatever. I don't mind. Okay, so he's not going to be able to... Wait, he doesn't have Ground Slash, but he does have Gale Slash, which can't do anything. Alright, and he's not gone yet. Either he has a much lengthier time on the map, or I've just been miscounting. Or he's just slow. All of the above, probably. Alright, let's just shock this guy. That was surprisingly meaningless. Uh, you know what? Attack. Let's just do... Let's just do Antique. See, we know Antique does damage. Everything else, though, I don't know, man. But Antique does damage. Okay. Attack. Burst. Oh, the poison killed that guy. Yes, we have a confused tree and a poisoned tree. Either that or it's a poisoned corpse. I'm going to say it's the tree, despite the fact that I'm fairly certain it's the corpse beneath. That's okay. Ah, oh, so it's... Yeah! I always loved the special effects for this game. I don't know. I, I played this, Fire Emblem, and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Largely in the same year, and it always just felt really good to me. Okay, so let's continue healing, which is more or less making it impossible for me to make money, but that's okay. Well, I don't think we found Scarlet the Brave. I think we found Scarlet, uh, Scarlet the has mark on face. Okay, I remember this level. This is actually, I think, oh. I probably should have saved before doing this. That's okay. What do we got over here? So we got a mushroom. Ah, here we go. Relaxed evil rock. Perfect. Okay, so this one's a bit concerning, just because. So I'm gonna save Grand Slam Man at the very least. We're gonna we're gonna start with Actually, yeah, let's let's try and do this without uh, too many too many people in the beginning. Why? Uh because if this is the first level I ever did where I actually ran into a population problem. To the point where I couldn't actually beat the level because I did not have enough units. Uh in reserve. I spent them all in the beginning. And that was really, really freaking bad. Lucky, luckily, zombies are fairly slow, I think. Actually, I know I know they're fairly, fairly slow. Gives me a lot of time. Oh, right, this level's also super slippery. Let's see. Let's keep, let's keep anti antiquing this guy. Despite the fact that the other guys are, are coming. This level's also super slippery, so goodbye, Morona. I think I ended up, like, losing one of my units to, like, elsewhere, and it sucks. So yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna rely on Ash a little bit, but I want to get him slightly in position so he can start wailing on the bosses. But his defense is so high, we should be in a good position. But yeah, if I can, if I can use Ash to weaken or kill the bosses, then we'll be in a great spot. Oh, crap. Okay. 
That's a problem. Or is it? This could actually be a blessing in disguise. So first and foremost, we need to heal Ash. Then, we know his clone fruit ability does a lot of damage. Or that tree's clone fruit ability does a lot of damage. So, let's, uh, let's lock that. Do we have any other abilities that are particularly close? Yuki. Uh, I guess it's not abilities, it's units that I can confine. Nope, that's outside the radius, but that's okay. Okay, so now we've got our army very close range. Should be able to do some good stuff with this. Okay, now he can move. He just can't move as far as I would like. Well, let's work on her. Is his name M Milan? Okay. Yeah, luckily with that, that tree, there's a very real possibility that... Nope. Very real possibility that these guys aren't going to be able to fight back particularly well. Which is great! Because, yeah, if, if I can just take out the, the tough zombies, that more or less makes it so the rest of the level can <laughs> effectively be cleared by Morona if she needs to. Don't beat on Potato too much. She's really powerful. And doesn't like being beaten up. Alright. Well, that did a ton of damage to one of those guys. Only one, admittedly, but still. Okay. And... Should be able to heal her from here, right? Yes. Good. Because I, I would actually prefer Potato to live, you know, her holy sun life here. Okay, antique kill. So that's one. We got several small zombies, but their AI is dumb. Like it's it's not uncommon for for enemy zombies to just give up for some mysterious reason. I've never been able to understand that one, honestly. But they'll just they'll just be like, I can't reach my enemy or something. And that's just it. That's that's the end of it. Okay, so we got me. Yeah, let's go kill Milan. Because he was about to take an action, and he's the only character that's actually a threat here. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see, come on, gross water. Gross water! Well, that really damaged one, not so much the other. That's okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, the first time I did this, I did not have magic, and I don't think I had done nearly as much... Eh, no, maybe I'd probably done quite a fair amount of grinding. I just never processed it as much. Okay. Press Gale Slash. My turn. Oh, interesting! Uh, because the one guy was being held, I could still hit him for that attack. That's useful. Keep that in mind. Okay, and let's go back to antiquing. It's a pretty solid move. I do say so myself. Okay, ow. Alternatively, this works out pretty well. Alright, so Ash wants to do... Can't do Groundbreaker. Can do Berserker, though. Alright, that'll have to do. So this is his last attack. Should do a fair amount of damage, and that's just a zombie on the ground, right? Yes! Bye! Good move. Very good move. Okay, can't do ice, but can do this? Yeah, because that guy's dead. Hey there. Clear up the corpses a bit. Yeah! I always feel, I always feel ni nice and proud of myself when I can clear a level. Yeah, sure, I had some casualties, but for the most part, no problem. Down in 
looks like I've been misled once more. How frustrating. Huh? You mean this isn't the right person? Oh. Thank you for going all that way. Please accept this reward. Scarlet, you of all people should realize the times we are living in. Why won't you show yourself? The true identity of Scarlet the Brave remained a mystery. All right. Looks like we got some stuff. All right, that must be the end of the chapter, unless something else comes. But I bet if I touch that mailbox, the next chapter begins. So, I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of Phantom Brave. And as always, thanks for watching.